Hi, good evening. I'm Tisa Cathon. Um, thank you, judges, for being here. Thank you, Startup Weekend. This has been a uh, very intensive and incredible experience. Um, I'd like to introduce my team. This is Lynn Merritt. Um, this is Victor Robledo, um, Rainy Berry, and Amber Parks. Um, what I'm going to show you is Cockroach Crunch. Cockroach Crunch is a family-friendly game where you, in essence, kill cockroaches. Um, some of the stuff that we're going to go over is we have an emotional need, which we figured we could supply a little bit of distraction and have a little bit of fun. It's entertaining value as a fun um, game for all media devices that are touch-based. Um, but I'm going to actually show you our 2009 um, Cockroach Crunch, which we had released um, way back then, which now we're talking about re-upping and, and, um, and showing. I guess that's what happens when you hit the start key. And so it's play. <laughs> Um, oh, this is going to be a freemium. 
So the first, it's going to be free to download. You can be able to purchase it um, as a premium but without the ads, but it would have ad space on it. And then the idea is that the different weapons would be upgradable. So you would have to purchase the um, the weapons and or points to, to be able to get the weapons to kill the different, different ways to kill the cockroaches, which we weren't able to show you as well as there's lasers, there's other devices that add uh, different sounds and a little bit of different feel to the touch screen. So, so as a company, what are you going to design after cockroaches? I'm going to have some other apps. Um, both Ben and I are creative, so it's not, we don't. This one is the one to see if we could actually, if it's something that, that, that there's a market for. That was really what this, this uh, weekend ended up showing us that there, there is still a need for quality apps where there's, there's tons of apps out there. There's just, there's a lot that are just programmed and throw out, thrown out there. Um, and, it, you know, they don't have all of the elements to make it sustainable or interesting and also, you know, dynamic and, and you know, be able to integrate with the other, with social media, you know, with Facebook, adding it, um, you know, and building it up that way, rebuilding up that way. Let me just ask, um, why did you pull the app off the market? I think that's what I think I heard. What, what were some of the key learnings that you had with the first launch that you want to improve on for the second? Great question. Uh, it, was a, it was a good app then. Uh, what we learned at the time, we couldn't get any traction marketing-wise. There was a big competition between the free and the 99 cent or 5.99. We were going all over the place. People had 11.99, um, just trying to figure out, you know, because it was brand new, how that market was going to work. We didn't know about the freemium um, uh, model. Otherwise, it would have. I think it would have really done really well. Um, it was just a, you know, it was one race to market, and then it it was something where we you just kept getting buried. The, what was would be different this time is adding the social um, and, and professional marketing services to um, help us with it, and also doing all, all the platforms. Any other questions? So. Do you need to add developers? Do you need to add marketing people? What's your organizational structure look, at this, look like to support this? To support this? Yeah. What do I need now? It would be going back to our original developers that, that programmed it um, and reprogramming it. Um, that That's our biggest, biggest thing right now. Um, we have an idea of how to do that. And the, the other thing is, is the marketing would be the other big chunk of the budget and time. So how much money do you need to do that? Well, we got some ideas on, on some on money. We, for our developers, we think it could be any, that can change because we have we have a platform already, but we think somewhere around 50,000 for the, um, the app, and then redesigning the app, and then marketing about 50 for a, just basically launching it like um, a blitz, yeah. So, so to follow up on the prior question, what are the roles and responsibilities that, of the members of the team that you currently have? They, I think, well, when, uh, Lenny is completely, he's, he's tech. We have shared the responsibilities of um, this whole project. Uh, we've been able to collaborate. The girls went out to go do one-on-one -on -one, um, marketing um, to find out what our um, demographic wanted. Um, Victor was fantastic with working on um, other ideas. I mean, we definitely had to go through a lot of um, figuring out whether or not this, this app was something we could do or that had a market. This originally, and where are they now? Uh, Len and I did. Sorry? Uh, Len, he uh, and I did. Okay. Yeah. But you're the developers. Yes. Not programmers. That, that's, that's what I mean. Programmers. Oh, programmers. Yeah, they're, they're, 